market date again! Oh my! Oh! Bro! Oh my god! The enemy! Oh my god! Alright, three, two, one, go. Oh? Bro, are you hearing this music? Goddamn, we're back with Kotetsu and Muichiro heading to Kanamori. One of Finding Nemo's brothers. Bro! Damn! He slashed the vase and its head. Nah, Muichiro is built different, man. You love to see it. Light work. He's the one who's supposed to forge Muichiro's sword, right? Damn. The Yurichi's. Type 0 blade is not looking good. Oh? Tanjiro asked him? Wow, he actually said that? Tanjiro is so kind, man, you love to see it. Yeah, he's currently forging Tanjiro's sword, right? Oh, amazing, man. Oh, Tanjiro is so kind. He actually talked to Kanamori to take care of that for Muichiro. Oh, you love to see it. I cannot wait to see how this episode goes. Let's go. Let's go. Episode 5, Bright Red Sword. Wait, hold up. I've been thinking about this title for past week. Um, I remember the first time that Haga Nezuka brought Tanjiro his sword, right? He mentioned how he wanted to witness and see, um, you know, a bright red sword, right? He could tell that Tanjiro comes from a family that deals with fire, you know, or charcoal or whatever. And you could tell that Tanjiro's hair was, you know, um, a reddish hue. Uh, same case with his eyes, but it ended up turning black. And uh, judging from what Uroko Daki said, like people with black Nichirin blades don't go so f uh, don't go too far, you know, as swordsmen and everything. And I remember Rengoku said people with black Nichirin blades also, um, you know, have a hard time mastering, uh, you know, a certain technique, a certain breathing technique, you know. So I'm kind of curious, like in regards to color changing blades, like what's so special about the red one, you know? Because I remember Rengoku's was bright red too, right? Because I remember in Mugen Train, he said when he was trying to protect those civilians on the train, he was like, you know, I won't let you hurt them, you know, um, if you bear your fangs on the innocence, my bright red flame blade will take care of you, you know, and then he did that, uh, you know, Hono no kokyu, ichi no kata shiranui, annoying fire. So I'm, I'm kind of curious exactly what's so special about, because we don't know too much about the color changing blades besides the black one, right? Um, like, but what about Sanemi's who's green, or, or Muichiro's that's kind of bluish, you know, or Giyu's that's blue also, you know, or, uh, or Zenitsu's that's, you know, lightning, um, you know, colored, or yellow, rather, you know, I'm, I'm rather curious about that, but let's find out. Like, like, I'm really curious what exactly is so special about a bright red sword, you know? Also, wow, it just crossed my mind. On the title screen, I was so focused on talking about the bright red thing. On the title screen, it showed Tanjiro's mark, right? The, the mark on his, uh, on his forehead, you know? I just realized that, it just came to my mind right now. He's not ending to the chief. Whoa! The demon? Gyoko? Oh my god! He's here! Oh my god! Gyoko versus Muichiro, I'm here! I'm here. Slowly now, Muichiro, slowly. Bro, we're getting Muichiro versus Gyoko already! Let's go, I'm here, I'm here. We get more of that Kasumi no Kokyu, I'm here for it. Cannot wait to see his other forms of misbreathing. Bro, there he is. Bro, this music! <laughs> Meanwhile, Finding Nemo's brothers are attacking the Swordsmith Village. Ooh, damn! Bro, Finding Nemo's are going crazy, bro. Bro, this music, man. Baby girl Mitsuri, she's gonna come through, right? She was on her way! Baby girl Mitsuri, there she is, my girl! Yo, let's go, Mitsuri! Show me that love breathing! Show me the coin no kokyu! Damn, look at how fast she's slicing them! Look at her go! Mitsuri! Damn! Bro, look at her go! I think it, she's going so fast because her, bl her blade can bend, right? She's slicing them so quickly because her blade can bend. Oh my god! She is l making light work of these Finding Nemo's. You love to see it. What the heck? This one has four vases on it? Damn, it's got the chief! Oh no! Damn! Mitsuri's on her way. She's gotta save him, right? He's Hyotoko mask cracked. It packed up the... The demon slayers that were here, sheesh, you hate to see it. Mitsuri! Show me the love breathing! Bro, her theme, are you hearing this? Bro, look at how bendy it is, I love it. Tension forged it? Wait, what did he say? Who forged it? The chief forged it? Did the chief 
Um, did Lord Tenshin... So that she forged this blade for her? No freaking way! Wow! Look how bendy it is, man! Come on, Mitsuri, show me what you got! Let's go! She was the first... Oh my god! What? Let's go! Shivers of first love? It kind of looked like there were some minor explosions that happened internally on this Finding Nemo from that first form of Koi no Kokyu, love breathing. I, I, okay, interesting. Okay, so does it have an effect to it? Or like, how does this work, you know? Is it like Tengen's, you know, sound breathing with fireworks? Anyway, let's keep going. Hopefully she'll do another technique, but that was fire. That looked cool. Finally, we got to see first form. For her blade is so cool. <laughs> He's on cloud nine. Oh my god, bro. No. I thought he died. <laughs> He's in heaven right now. <laughs> he wants he wants to be held. Tanjiro? The scent? Nezuko woke up! Uh oh. Damn! Sekido again! Oh my god! What was that scent that Tanjiro was smelling? Bro, look at Nezuko! Oh, they got got! Sekido's lightning is so annoying, bro. Oh my god, they got cooked! Damn. Now, now Tanjiro is helping Nezuko. Meanwhile, Genya and Aizetsu are still going at it. This is so intense. Damn, that fan is a problem! We need to get rid of that fan! And Sekido's staff too, but he'll grow another one though. Their tongues were the weakness, right? Not again. Uh, damn! Another one! Damn! Bro, Karak. Huh? Nezuko, what are you doing? Bro, we're already halfway through. Why do these episodes feel like five seconds, bro? We're already halfway through, goddammit! Yo! Damn, Karaku is a problem. Sekido too. Look at all that damage. Oh my god, they must be under the rubble of all that. Damn, she's been crushed by one of the buildings. What is she doing? Wait a second. Bro, I'm gonna take a wild guess at, at what Nezuko is trying to do here. Is she trying to wrap Tanjiro's blade with her blood and make it, like, light on fire? Just like the time that they did with... Rui, when he did the Hinokami Kagura, and the flame dance for the first time, Nezuko's blood, a little bit of her blood, her explosive blood touched uh, the tip of Tanjiro's broken Nichirin blade that time. If that's what she's doing, and I swear I've never read the manga, I swear to God, if that's, bro, if that's what she's gonna do, that's gonna be insane. That's gonna be insane. Is that what she's gonna do? That's what she's gonna do, isn't it? It's what she's gonna do. Oh, we're back with Muichiro. His artwork? She <laughs> like... Wait, where, where did that vase come from? What? I love that clapping he just did. Another Finding Nemo? Or what is it? Oh my god! Behold death, death throes of smiths? Oh my god, he took the bo So that's what he does with the bodies of the people that he, he kills? That is so messed up, bro. Oh my god. Five swordsmith to lavish extravagant effect? Bro, look at the camera angles. Oh my god, this is crazy. You photoball is popping off right now. Kanamori and Kotetsu need to get out of here. They're gonna be a hindrance on Muichiro. They're, he's gonna he's gonna be very distracted while fighting Gyoko if he has to protect them. They need to run. Oh my god! Gyoko is a savage! Look at all the blood. Oh my god, Gyoko is such a scumbag, bro. Muichiro, let's back him up. Oh, bro, he's getting me. You, let's go. Oh, let's go, Muichiro. Yo, he almost got him there. Bro, did you see that? The animation on the mist, you potable. Bro, I'm done talking, Gyoko. Let's let let's throw hands. He can teleport from one face to another. I see. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Moichiro is too fast, man. Oh my god, I didn't even see him move. He's teleporting. <laughs> Bro, how many vases does he have? How is he able to do that so quickly? Teleport like that. How many vases do you have? <laughs> he called him an ape. Wow. <laughs> That's my question, Moichiro. <laughs> We're done talking, Gyoko. 
Let's throw hands, bro. Stop running. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it, Muchiro. What the hell? That was a needle fish. We got finding Nemo's, bro. More of them. Smaller ones. Oh my god, look at. Bro, look at the animation on them, bro. What? That is, oh my, you photoable, yo. Bro, they're popping off right now, man. This looks so good. Oh my, I just have to appreciate this. That is so crazy, man. The CG is blending so well. No! No, Karamori! Muichiro, did he save them? Oh my god! Are you good, Muichiro? This man got turned into Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. Damn! <laughs> you see, uh, what I happened, uh, ex what I said exactly happened. You see, uh, Kanamori and Kotetsu became a hindrance for him. He had to save them. Oh my God! The pins inside his body. Oh, and he's not even phased, bro. He's just, he's just chilling. <laughs> poison? Oh, bro, he's got poison like Yutaro now too. Oh, uh, why do all these demons have poison, bro? That's so unfair. Bro, even in his ear. Oh my God! Oh my God! Wait, what? Wait, is that... Maybe the demon... The demon that attacked him? Back when he was a kid, or... Woo! Let's go! It is worthless. Let's go, Mojiro! Damn! He cut off one of the baby hands. Love to see it. Oh, no. Water? Mizu no Kokyu? Water prison pot, okay? Come on, Muichiro, break out of there, buddy. He can't slash the water? Oh yeah, cause he can't, he can't breathe. Damn. How did you find this place, Kyoko? Kagaya, you're gonna go after Kagaya next? You hate to see it. Bro, she's gonna, she's gonna wrap his blade with flames, isn't she? That's what she wants to do. It's gotta be what she wants to do. I knew it! I figured! Let's go! Just like that time with Rui! It's changing color, it's becoming... It's turning red! Oh my god! Just like it did that time with Rui! Oh my god, Tanjiro! Exploding blood sword! Sumiyoshi? She kinda looks like she kinda looks like Nezuko but has blue eyes. The inherited memory that Kotetsu talked about before. Yorichi? Was it pitch black? Thanks to the power of Nezuko's blood! So just- So his blade is just like Yorichi's right now? You may think you've gotten stronger, but um, there are always even more powerful demons facts. Oh my god! Nezuko coming in clutch! Again! Oh, Giyu! Urokodaki! Zenitsu Inosuke! Tengen! I see you, my boy! Let's go, Tanjiro! Tengen! Nezuko Urokodaki! Rengoku! Let's go, Tanjiro! Oh, let's go, let's go, please. Sekido Karaku. Surprise! From the music. Bring it on, Urogi. Let's go, Tanjiro. Oh? Raging Sword? Oh, just like. Oh my god! He remember? The Sword of the Swordsman who drove Lord Muzan into a corner, so it was exactly like Yorichi's blade back then! He feels it! He feels the memories of Muzan's cells from back then! Oh my god, Tanjiro is on demon time, bro! The music! And nearly beheaded him! His mark is taint again! Oh my god, he's channeling Yorichi! Oh my god, bro! Oh my! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! He beheaded all three of them with such ease! Because of your mark. What is this mark? And his forehead, the mark changed. It's changed back. He can do it now. Aizetsu. Damn. Wait, what? What the? Genya beheaded him? What the hell is going on here? And the, the tips of his hair are yellow. 
They weren't like that before. Oh my god! So we're done! But what the hell is going- Is this man a demon? This man is a demon! Oh my god! Now it makes sense why he was healing! And why that time when Tanjiro and, 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 well, oh my god, my god, I'm so hyped right now. And the way Mitsuri, when they took, they, 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 some villagers said that Genya wasn't eating food. I guess it's because he's a demon. But, whoa, 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 how did he become a demon? What? Bro, I have so many questions. What the hell is going on here? Demon staple food are, 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 are human beings, right? So that makes sense why he wasn't eating. But how did he become a demon? He's like a demon. Oh my god, bro! Nah, this has to be the hypest episode we've gotten so far, bro! Oh my god!